connecting with that local digital consumer is number one is convenience. Uh, they have to make sure that uh, consumers today are no longer brand loyal. If they don't show up on a search, they're going to go to the next ice cream shop uh, rather than the one that they may have gone to for many years. With technology uh, that's available to us right now, in addition to actually tailoring messages to broader audiences based on geographical location, we can also, also tailor uh, the content that's being delivered to an individual based on their past behavior, their shopping behaviors, their places they visited, their interests and so forth. So, uh, personalization, personalization of media has become even much more uh, defined. National retailers are going to start leveraging mobile and social platforms in a localized way by taking all the great shopper information that they have through their car data and identifying the insights within that and then leveraging their own capabilities plus capabilities of manufacturer partners they work with as well as third parties to really build that communication strategy that is personalized to their shopper. So what I would receive as a personalized offer is going to be very different from someone else. It's very important for us to recognize how people are consuming media, especially uh, mobile media, um, and to know that it changes throughout the day, that more in the morning hours, it, the, 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 the consumption is much more related to the smartphone. Throughout the day, it's more uh, uh, a desktop. And toward the end of the day, there's a huge spike in, uh, in uh, tablet uh, activity. So to me, that says that retailers need to be present at all points throughout the day with executions that are uh, tailored to each of those devices. We can't predict. What we can do is we can be, be close to our consumer, we can be close to these trends, we can follow the hype cycle, and that'll then lead us to the sales cycle.